Welcome to Crash Bandicoot Warped Platinum Relics Part 4. This warp room has a couple of levels that I think might- wait. This is warp room 2. This warp room has some levels that I think will be quite easy. And then some that are going to be very difficult. Like high time. I've heard high time is just a nightmare level, so. I might leave that one until last, or I might not. I might just do them in order, we'll see. But we're going to start with Dynamite. One of the levels that I think should be quite fine. I don't know, because I don't know what this level is. I forgot. Okay. Oh. There we go. Awesome. Lost my Haku instantly. You know, the thing about the... Ultra spin, whatever, well, I don't even, the death tornado spin. Is that it just slows you down when you don't really want to use it. You know, you can accidentally activate it. Oh, for fuck's sake. I mean, I, I, well, I don't think I was in that, but... Love the hitboxes, man. I mean, that should have counted. With with the hitboxes... Like, it actually shouldn't have counted, because I didn't hit it, obviously. But it should have, because of the, some of the... I, you know, what, what are these enemies? What is the tracking on these things? That crate, that it shouldn't have counted, right? But because of some of the hit, enemy hitboxes that do count when I barely touch them, I think it, it should have gave me it, right? Do you have a boosting feature or what? Does Baby T have a boosting feature, or am I just like... I feel like this is slower, right? Wow, this, uh, this level, I don't know, it, it's actually looking more annoying than easy, like I thought it would be. Good thing about Baby Z is that he at least smashes crates faster, even if he feels slow as shit. I mean, it doesn't feel like a relic when I'm on Baby Z. It feels like we're on a casual, casual stroll. And then, just to top things off, we've got this uh, runaway section here. Oh, and let's not... Yeah, wait. There are boosts here, too. In the water. The stream has boosts. So you're probably going to want to get all of them, too. You're going to get that three for me, right? Thank you. Okay, I, I don't know how long this level is. And then you've got sections like these, which also slow down the... the I don't know, it doesn't actually feel like a relic that much, this level. You'll get that for me. This is... As far as I know, I, I don't know what the time is like in this level or whatever, but this is looking like a sapphire. I'm not gonna finish it. Oh, there we are. Okay, now, that's a sapphire. Gold? Okay. Let's see what... I don't want to save that. Let's see what the Platinum is. 103? That's actually not a tough time at all. The, the level, it just feels slow. Everything feels slow. You got Baby T that doesn't have any kind of boosting. He's just slow. 
So it feels like you're doing something wrong. It kind of feels like it would be faster to just use crash and slide jump throughout this whole section. Then you got the crate in the air as well. Between the nitro crates, that doesn't feel like you're... That, that just feels like something from a normal level, not something you would encounter in a relic. Wait, what? This. But that was good. Oh, yeah, it decided to bounce right there. Okay, I'm probably not going to make it to the end now without my accus. Yes, I'm not very good at this. Yep, there it goes. Where are- uh -oh! Uh -oh! There it is, the platinum. That's- that, that was like... That was like really disappointing. It just wasn't a fun level to speedrun. Anyway, I'm happy to move on from it. Let's go to... Deep Trouble. These levels are really just about... Figuring out where you can boost in the vehicle. So I'm not going to boost starting off because I need to know where we can boost. I need to know where the crates are going to be. Can do some good boosting through here. But again, like, okay, well, I've just fucked up my chances of getting that crate. Oh, and also getting through here in one cycle would be good. Ignoring them cycles with Akus would probably be good too. Get a lot of Aku crates, damn. Oh, did I miss the thing? Make that. So there's a triple Aku too. As if I'm ever going to be able to keep that. But it would be good actually. How do you get through that? That's how. I think there's a gem that way, right? So that you can just Boost through, spam missiles, boost, there's a, ch there's a chest, a crate there. This I've noticed this warp room is just the, the warp room of long levels. Levels that you're just wondering the whole time, when is this going to finish? I mean, that was supposed to hit the shark, you know what I'm saying? Ah, 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 ah. What is that, a two crate? It's necessary. I was thinking maybe a one crate, it wouldn't really matter, but... Wow, I didn't... Wait. Okay, so triple accu doesn't work then, in this level. Good to know. Good to know, because it's not like I was ever going to actually get there again with the triple accu. So, also what I've noticed is, actually, getting that two crate with the 
vehicle will prevent you from getting a good cycle there. Because you have to go so slow to descend to that level to get the two crate. I think that's not worth it. That's my prediction. Oh, fucking hell. That, that doesn't line up at all. So you boost through the TNT bit, right? And you have two options. You boost once more, then start spamming to kill the shark. Doesn't line up. You get these, fire a thing into the TNT, and you boost twice. And then the shark kills you. Or you boost once, and then just start spamming missiles. And it just... It's slow. Like we'll, we'll descend. We'll do the thing once and now i'll start spamming because the shark will otherwise kill me it's it it feels weird oh that's so bollocks because not only does triple accu not work with the speed boost or anything but it doesn't actually give you a third one in general so you're just getting like you're just getting nothing out of it. Oh, holy shit. This level is not good. On top of it being fucking not good. Oh, that's sapphire, man. Oh, gold, of course. Doesn't matter. Sapphire, gold, all the same. Gotta do it again regardless. Let's see what platinum time is. The, the reason that level is not good is because the boosting does not line up at all. Like, I don't know. There's like maybe a two second delay after you finish a boost before you can boost again. And if that two second delay just wasn't there, things would line up better. Like with the shark. Or at the beginning, yeah. Let's see. 108. Yeah, five seconds. So I've got to boost a lot more, basically. Again, descend. Slow, slow, slow. Boom. I would love to boost here, but because of the delay, I can't. That also, again, th there's a delay on shooting after you finish a boost as well. You can't shoot after you finish a boost. So because of that, I can't shoot the, the bomb in time. So there, there's like two boosts at the very beginning I could easily get. Unless I... No, it just doesn't line up. Again, there's a bomb. And now... Yeah, nothing lines up. Nothing. You you destroy an obstacle, you boost, you hit the next obstacle. Because of the slight bit of time, it doesn't allow you to start shooting after you finish a boost. So I'm losing like five seconds just here alone. Okay, that's a way to get a boost off by going up. Now, the problem with going up, I missed the two crate. So regardless, I'm hit I'm missing the two crate. I'm also getting scammed. I've not, I've not forgot about that. I'm getting scammed out of Accu crates here. Oh yeah, that that count. Yeah, that one crate is nah, that ain't it. I've got to remind my... Seeing the one crate there is so weird. Because I forget I'm actually going up. But let's try this again. So, start spamming. Boost. Boost again, kind of. Okay, that, I, I like that. That's quite nice. Got to use an Aku there, otherwise I'm waiting for no reason. Hug this side, then move to this side. No, go up. No! 
Oh, I need to remind myself. Yes! Okay, I don't think I had an Accu Mask, but I think when I hit the obstacle at the end, it destroyed the vehicle instead of me. I'll take that. That was very close. Very close. Oh no, it wasn't. It was four seconds faster. I thought it was a 105. I, I always forget the Platinum time. That was a what? That was four seconds faster. That was easy. But the time was easy. The level... So I'm not going to do high time now, because that's probably going to take like hours. Just from what I've heard. And also, you know, when you when you Google a level or you go on YouTube, you look at level, you can tell how difficult it's going to be by how many views the video has and how many comments it's got. Because the more comments the video has, you just know the more people are complaining about the level. And I, th yeah, that's going to be tough. Road crash and double header. This should be fine, right? Starting off with an Aku is a blessed way to start a relic. Oh, wow. Lovely. The good thing about these levels is you can just... Skip everything by just staying on the wall. Okay, and we get a second Aku after you just wasting one. Nice. The water doesn't slow you down at all, so I don't see why not going through it. That's the end of the level. Man, I, I do love these levels though. Easy! I love these levels, not only because of the theme of them, but because they're easy to get through. Well, Warp Room 3 has been a breeze so far. Three Platinum Relics in like 20 minutes or something. But now we have the worst level. So again, high time, I'll leave that. I might actually try Road Crash though for the... I'm, I might try and get this one done. Oh, I've got a Sapphire on this level. That's my... Yeah, that, that's my one Sapphire. I was wondering where that was, but I got a 1... What did I get? A 130. I would like to leave high time for its own video. If it's going to be that tough, I'd, I'd rather leave it for its own video. I don't want to be dealing with road crash and this. I'm going to let them go from the very beginning. Normally, I don't do that because you have to wait at the beginning every time you want to attempt a level. It's annoying and the longer the level is the longer you have to wait or you're just going to catch up with them anyway which did ruin one of my hog ride platinum attempts it would have been platinum but because i didn't wait long enough i ended up catching back up to them and one of them was just in the worst place possible and i lost the platinum run you don't need to wait the whole time just for this but for the attempts let's just figure out where everything is good thing about this level you don't need to boost the whole way through I actually don't know where the boost pads are, if there are any. I hope there isn't. Oh, there is. Fuck. Fuck, how long do- Oh, wait. Yeah, I missed some crates there, I think. I wasn't lined with that. But, wait. Oh, fuck. Oh, God. Wait, are we gonna... Okay, no, this... 
We'll, we'll see. Let's finish the level first. I like how there's boost pads after every boost. Sorry, jump pads after every boost. Because that means it's physically not possible to keep the boost. Which means it isn't required. I could have kept that. I just want to see the level, really. Ah! That's a hole! I, thought, I didn't know it was a... I thought it was a shadow. Let's see the rest of the level. Oh, God. There's another hole there. Okay. Oh, wait. That was a 120... Well, no. I'm at 125 now. It's like a 127. That shouldn't be too bad. I mean, I messed up a bunch. I, I fell into a hole. If I didn't fall into a hole, I might have been at 124, 5. I'll try and keep boosts wherever possible, but there's that that at the end, there was a bunch of bending and stuff in the road, so I'm not that's that's gonna be Yeah, I can barely do straight roads with the boost, so I'm definitely gonna be cancelling the boost at that bit. See that shadow on the floor kinda looks like the hole. Please tell me I'm not the only one. Right, how did we not get how did we not get the hype for that? Lovely. Oh, that's a hole. What? I actually ended up getting that. Wow. I was about to say what lovely controls. I did not, I barely let these guys get, get ahead of me. So, it's going to be a tough one. It's got a hug, you've got to do lines properly as well. Nice. <gasps> Oh, I don't know. I can't tell if I'm getting all of them or not. Nope, I'm not doing that. Sorry. I just phased through the guy. Love how the hole extends super far. That was a 120. Okay, that was better. And I missed the two crate. That that could have been it. I think I missed some of the crates in the stack as well. The four one crates together. Might have missed one or two of those. <sighs> I I need to go left more there. I I don't even I don't even remember that they're there. Fuck you know, even with the regular boost that's so tough. And why why are you right there, man? That's unfortunate. Okay. Just keep going, just keep going. Ah, ah! Nah, that's a 58. Less than a second from Platinum. Oh, jeez. Ah. There's my... Oh, the controls fucked me again. Keep the boost around the corner. That's it. That's where I'm going to sit. If I do the first run, but do that with the boost pad... That's platinum. I just think it's hilarious that the... I, I don't know how this got play tested. you know? The way the bike controls. I don't know how 
it got through playtesting without anybody complaining. Or well, maybe they did complain and just didn't give a shit. For the most part, though, this is fine. Without the boosting. Nice. First big obstacle done is not hitting that thing. I skidded so much there, lost so much speed, but again, I can make up for it, I know that. But I've got an issue. These guys are still on the course. Okay, I think I smashed all of them. Whoa, okay, that was the wrong bit. That was the wrong bit. I wasn't at the bit I thought I was at. Where is it then? Where's the thing I'm thinking of? It's not here, because this is a boost pad. Oh, it's here. Yeah, I fucked myself up there. And again, I fucked myself up. Wait. Ah, oh, we did it. That was... That was so much better than Hog Ride. The fact that they, ha they, they know how to make good relics around shitty controls because this is an example of it a great example bad controls on the bike but a good relic regardless so why did they choose to make hog ride so shit it doesn't make any sense they should have just increased the time so it didn't require full boosting anyway four relics down in one warp room we've got one left of warp room three and I'm, i saved the worst till last so I'll do that in the next video. And maybe start Warp Room 4 if I get lucky, but let's be honest, I probably won't. That being said, thank you for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Definitely subscribe if you're new here, and I'll see you all in my next video.